guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited you guys so first things first if you want details on this hair look i do have a tutorial over it i will try to link it below so you guys can see how i do the heatless um wave curls also this eye look is already up or will be up after this video so i will have that link below or i will eventually link it when it does go up if it's not up first so Yes, as you guys can see by the title, this is going to be a mini haul. I went and purchased a few items and I just kind of wanted to um, use them already, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it so that I can keep everything together. I just put it all in one big bag. Um, some of the products are from Ulta, some are not. So I will let you guys know where they are from and all of that good stuff. Hope you guys, new year is going great. Mine is amazing. So many great things are happening and I'm just super excited, you guys. So yes, so you guys know, I think I've done a video over my favorite beginner friendly tools. If I have not, then this is a good time for me to do that because I had to re-up on these brushes. These brushes are very inexpensive and they are by e.l.f. And it's just from the regular collection. Now they do have a professional collection and they're a little bit more um, expensive than these, but they are still affordable. I think they range from three to six dollars and they are amazing. You guys, I absolutely love those brushes, but these are just great beginner inexpensive brushes to use especially if you're an artist, um, if you are just learning how to do makeup. These are really great. They are $1 and I got these from Target. I just got two eyeshadow brushes, um, a lash and brow brush because you guys, I love, love, love this brow brush. And I got a smudge brush. This is great for putting in um, particular colors. Maybe if you want to accent color your tear duct area, underlining your waterline, this smudge brush is great for that. If you guys want to see an updated brush video on how I use different brushes, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will do that for you guys. But yeah, these are just some really great affordable brushes and I had to get some more um, because I wear these out, you guys, and they last so long. It is just, they're really great and affordable. So I had to get those. And then you guys, <clears throat> so you guys know I have a particular foundation that I love and I actually have two that I have been using religiously. Okay, it fell out the bag somehow. But you guys know I showed you this in my last tutorial, and that is these two foundations here. They are both drugstore finds, so they are super affordable, you guys, but they are amazing. Like, I don't think I go a day without reaching for these, um, even compared to high-end foundations. This is great for every day. These are my go-to. The color payoff is just amazing. I'm wearing them today, so I definitely had to re-up on these and get two new ones. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Group. Pro Glow, excuse me. Um, to me, it's not a glowy type of dewy foundation. To me, it's very um, matte. And so I absolutely love this foundation. The color payoff is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have to wait for it to oxidize. I don't have to mix two different colors. I just choose to because I like both of the formulas. So I mix them together. But this is a great foundation to stand alone. So I definitely, if you guys are in the market for something new, I would definitely encourage you guys to try this foundation out. As well as you guys know, I raved about this all summer because it did wonders for my oily skin. And that is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm in the color 355 Coconut. And you guys, this foundation is just really, really nice. It's a great matte foundation. If you guys do have large pores like myself, then you do want to try to conceal those. This is a great foundation to do that and it's super affordable. Walmart, Target, Ulta, CVS, anywhere carries this foundation and it is definitely worth the money, trust me. Then I was out of my brow kit. So you guys, I've, I think I've mentioned that I use the um, Lorac Brow, take a, back, take a Brow, something like that. And I have used that for so long because it lasts so long. 
but I'm trying to find something that I can use um, every day. This size is expensive, so I decided to pick up the LA Colors Brow Kit. I've heard some great things about this brow kit, and again, I don't use this to completely fill my brows. I just use it as a filler, if that makes sense. So I don't have to have something that's super expensive to do what I need to do with it. But this was super affordable. It's I got this one from Family Dollar, I believe, for like three bucks. So it's super affordable and I can't wait to try this. But yeah, if you're looking for a brow kit, try this one. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have already used this, let me know what you think. And yeah. So while we're on the LA Colors products, I went and purchased this and I am wearing it today mixed with two other colors. Um, I do, like I said, my video for this tutorial will have those lip swatches available. Um, but this is just one of the LA Colors High Shine Lip Gloss. You guys, these lip glosses are the truth. I mean, they are so creamy and shiny and just the color payoff is like true to the bottle. Like whatever you see is what you get. So it's a very soft, subtle. I wanted something to be kind of warm, but kind of on the nude side. So I paired it with this and like I said, another other lipstick. But you guys, this is really, really pretty. And I think these are like $2. So if you guys want a nice high shine lip gloss, go to Dollar General, Family Dollar, and find the LA Colors Lip Shines. They are really bomb. And they do compare to a lot of high-end glosses and shines. So if you guys are wanting to try something, um, I definitely encourage you guys to go and try this product. Um, this is in the color Doll Face. So yeah, it's just a really cute nude color. Okay, and so I had to pick up some new powders. Um, I love the, the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. It's really great to create that warmth, that dimension in your contour. But if you're wanting something a little more softer, I always say go a shade down. So that's what I did. And I want to try the brown bronze. This is another bronzer. And I'm just a big bronzer, highlighter type of chick. Like, I don't wear a lot of blush and a lot of color on my face. So I like to keep it nice and warm and just lit. A little bit of highlight, you know what I'm saying? It goes a long way. So this is in the color Brown Bronze. And it's from the CoverGirl Queen Collection. And again, this is super affordable too. I think it was like $5 somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'm super excited to do a tutorial on this and see how that looks. And then also, if you guys are looking for a good mattifier, the Queen Collection also has a matte powder. And it looks something like this. And it's just a, a shine control. So it's just to really kind of reduce that oily, shiny look that your face gets sometimes throughout the day from wearing makeup. Um, so I picked this up as well. This is in the color Golden. So again, it doesn't have to match your skin perfectly. You're just, again, it's a mattifier. So it's going to just reduce that shine that's in your face. So let's see what else is next. Oh, so I heard some really great reviews and I've also watched some videos that feature this product. I could be a little late. I really don't care because I do already have my holy grails. But this, you guys... I know I've said a lot of things are like, I always say this, I always say I'm always raving and saying I have a favorite item, but yo, this is like really, really good. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's the concealer. This is in the color Honey, and you guys, I've been using this for about, mm, about two, two videos, so twice. I've used this product, and I had to use it on my last video just because... I wanted to see what it looked like so bad I couldn't wait. But yeah, I've only used it twice. Last video and this video. And you guys, this is amazing. If you guys have not tried this product, please go out and try it because you will not regret it. It makes your highlight look so great, so flawless. I mean, it really conceals any dark areas that you might have under your eyes. This is like the perfect, perfect concealer product. It is a little bit more expensive than the Maybelline um that I showed you guys before I think I have one it's a little more expensive than this one which is the one that I absolutely love as well um but it does work really good and it's super amazing so definitely try this out you guys and I just happened to go in Ulta 
I know, I know. I think I said I was going to be frugal this year and save a little more and spend less on makeup. Did I say that? I'm not really sure if I told you guys that. This is what I told my inner self. So if I didn't still tell you guys, <laughs> that's probably because I didn't want to have to own or live up to the fact that I'm um, addicted to buying makeup. I really am. It is like my passion, my therapy. <laughs> Nonetheless, I was in Ulta. So, you know, that's my pre to the reason why I purchased these items. But they had a really good sale. Makeup Revolution is a really great um, makeup company. I've featured a lot of blushes and lipsticks and bronzers from them because I absolutely love their product. Um, the quality of it is great. It's amazing. The payoff, the pigments are wonderful, but this is something that was new and it was on sale. So I decided to go ahead and try it. I love a good contour kit. Um, and this one is the ultimate palette to protect your, to protect you concealed touch up and contour kit. So it has concealers, it has a shine powder all in one, it has a blush, a highlight, it looks like this. And on the back it shows you what all is inside of the package, the different colors, all of that. So I'm so excited to try this product out, you guys. I probably should have opened it so you guys could see. My nails won't let me be great. So I have to use a tool to open it, but I'm going to open it so you guys can see. And this is in the color medium dark. They do have a light to medium. Um, I think that's probably the same with most contour kits and things like that. I don't want you in here. I'm breaking the box all down, y'all. This is crazy. But yeah, so it looks like this. It's really sleek and black, really smooth. It tells you what's inside on the back. And then you just open it up and it looks like this. So these are the colors and the shades. So yeah, I can't wait to use this. Again, it has a contouring highlight, which is this right here. It has a blush, which is this right here. It has a bronzer, a powder, and then it has some concealers on this side. Keep in mind, you guys, um, I don't just do makeup for myself. I also do, um, I'm a freelance artist, so I do get powders and palettes and other shades and colors. So it's not always going to be for me, but if it's something that's going to be good, I want to come across to everyone to kind of give you guys an idea of what's out there. So that's what I'm doing pretty much. So this might not work for me necessarily, but it worked for my clients. So I picked it up. It was really inexpensive. Like I said, at Ulta. So yeah, I'm going to give that a try. Then they also have this one sculpt contour stick that I wanted to try. I really like contour sticks. Um, they create more dimension. They're really smooth and creamy. And so I definitely love a good contour stick. So I wanted to give this one a try. And it just looks like this, you guys. You guys can see that. Just a nice brown shade. And so this is gonna be great to contour prior to putting your powder on to set. Um, it's really smooth. It kind of reminds me of the black opal sticks, but we will see how it goes and how it blends and things like that. Again, really cute, sleek case. So I love that. Then you guys, I had to re-up on some lashes. I use so many different kinds of lashes. I don't have just one type, one brand, but I have been loving the Kiss lashes. They have been really, really good um, and amazing. So I definitely want to show you guys the ones that I like and the ones that I purchased. Um, so it's gonna be the Ever Easy Lashes Collection. It looks like this. And so these are the ones that I use if I want more of a natural kind of look. Um, something that's not too dramatic. They're 100% human hair, lightweight, and it does say reusable. So these are great. Um, it's a multi-pack, and I think I got this from Walmart, and it does come with an applicator in the back of it. I'm not really sure how much this was, about 5 or $6. But like I said, these are the ones that I use for more of a natural look, simple, daytime, something like that. And then I get this particular pair here, and it's for more of a dramatic type of look. 
I use these in the daytime. Sometimes if I'm doing a natural face and I want more of a dramatic lash, I'll use these. So these are great as well. If you guys are interested in those, I will put the number to these down below um, because that's how you find them, just the number that's here in the corner. And then last but not least, I've heard some really great things about the Mario Badescu Rose Water. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So um, it smells really, really great, like really, really soft. And it does smell like fresh roses. Like it's safe for all skin types. And this is just a mist that's going to refresh you. It's going to be a great setting for your makeup. Um, it'll give you that um dewy finish if that's what you want the more that you apply it's great as a skincare that's originally why i got it to incorporate into my skincare regimen um after i cleanse and moisturize my face um i wanted to follow with this product here so that's why i really tried it this is at ulta for like seven dollars so it's really inexpensive and again it's just something that's going to be great to help moisturize your skin it's great for makeup and then it's great for um um it's just a great facial spray. I'm sorry. Lost my track of thought. It's just a great.